Today I'm gonna to walk you step by step through creating a store locator. I'm gonna show you how I built one for Burgers Priest, a delicious Toronto takeout spot for burgers. I'll show you how I used their brand colors, their logo, and how I embedded the store locator on a website. To do this, we're gonna use a free tool called Atlas. I co-created Atlas with my friend Carl. Uh, it's for creating custom Google Maps, and you can find a link to Atlas in the video description below. All right, let's do this. So we'll start an Atlas and we'll create a new map. Let's call this map Burger Priest Locations. And then let's add our first location. We'll name it Bluer West. And we'll drop some of the location information into the notes section. Then let's format it nicely, click away, and we'll see how it looks. Nice. Let's also add an image of the storefront. All right, looking good. So we need to add more Burger Priest locations, but instead of adding each individually, we're just gonna bulk upload them by CSV spreadsheet. So import CSV, choose the CSV, and we'll say, yes, this includes a header row. And there we go. All the locations have been added. Unfortunately, the CSV doesn't include images, so I'll need to add images to each location individually. Now we could put our locations into groups, uh, for example, different areas of Toronto, but I don't really think that's necessary when there's just 10 locations. So for this tutorial, we're not gonna do that. Let's start by styling the map. We'll begin by choosing a map theme. There are a couple different themes um, built in that we could choose from, but you can also import custom map styles, um, which is cool. So let's do that. Let's open snazzymaps.com, which has tons of different map styles. I think this one right here is cool. So let's choose it. Now, all we have to do is copy this code and paste it in Atlas here. And now we have this cool custom map style. So I kind of want to bring in some of the brand colors. So let's customize the markers and let's use the Burger Priest yellow for the marker color. And we can choose between a few shapes for the marker, but I kind of like circles. Let's go with that. And we can turn the border off. We can change the marker size. And there's some preset icons we can choose from but we're actually just going to add a custom icon, which is the Burger Priest logo. So the map and the markers are looking good, but the modal window is a bit uninspired. So let's style that. We'll up the shadow and let's up the roundness to match the circle. And one thing I didn't mention is you can change the position of the modal, but we're just gonna stick with above for now. Let's increase the weight and the size of the title. Let's give the address the yellow to match our brand. And we'll reduce the size. And let's make the note uh, a little bit darker and bring down the size a bit. Yeah, I like this a bit better. Now I'd like the user to be able to see their current location. so. Let's go to controls and turn on current location. Users can click this button to reveal their current location on the map. Important note, users have to give you permission to do this. You can't just automatically get their location. That would be an invasion of privacy. Now let's click over to publish. This is a live preview of how your map will look when it's embedded. And we can make some customizations here. For example, we can add a sidebar or a title and search box, though we're actually gonna remove the title for this and just go with the search box in the sidebar. You can also remove the Atlas branding at the bottom if you're on a paid plan. Finally, let's embed our map on our website. So copy this code and let's jump over to our Squarespace website. Now it's important to know that you don't just paste this code into a text element. 
that's just going to look like this. Instead, you need to paste this code into a code element. There we go. Now I actually want it to be a bit taller, so we can actually tweak the embed code and make it a bit taller. There we go, this looks really good. And of course, visitors can open modals uh, and they can search for specific locations. And of course, all this works on mobile as well. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Um, if you'd like to try Atlas, you can find a link to it in the video description. Otherwise, thanks for watching.